Asalaamu Alaikum. So today we're going to be making chicken and chickpea curry. I hope you enjoy. Uh, first of all, I've put in 500 grams of butter and two uh, chopped onions into the pan and I'm frying them until they turn golden brown. Now I've added in half a cup of water and the heat is high under the pan and I've put the heat down and I've put in seven cloves of garlic chopped like so into the pan and I'm going to put the heat back high and uh, let the water start to bubble and I'm going ahead and adding in a quarter tin of tomatoes uh, you can go ahead and use one fresh tomato if you prefer fresh tomatoes. Now I'm adding in the spices. So I'm adding in one and a half teaspoon of salt. Uh, you can put the salt into taste. I'm putting one teaspoon of cumin seeds, one teaspoon of dry coriander seeds and half a teaspoon of turmeric powder. And I'm giving that a quick stir. Now that I've done that, I'm going ahead and putting in one and a half teaspoons of garam masala and I'm also going to stir that in with the rest of the spices. After two or three minutes, I'm going ahead and putting in three um, fresh uh, green chilies into the curry base and I'm going to fry the curry base for about 10 minutes um, until the flavours infuse really well and the onions and tomatoes and garlic uh, become soft just like so as you can see If you feel like it's sticking at the bottom of the pan Go ahead and um, add small amounts of water and carry on dry frying uh, the base. But make sure that it's not sticking or else it'll have a burnt taste. I put the heat down under the pan and I'm going ahead and putting in the chicken. I used a baby chicken for this recipe and uh, make sure it's chopped up like this. And I'm cleaning each piece and putting it in to the pan. Once you've put all the chicken into the pan, put the heat high um, and dry fry the chicken like um, I was with the spices and uh, do this for about 15 minutes. Uh, make sure you keep the heat high and once again, if you feel like the chicken is sticking to the bottom of the pan, keep adding small amounts of water and it should end up looking like the way I'm showing you. And then after you fried the chicken, go ahead and add in one can of chickpeas. Make sure you drain out the water from the chickpeas and put them into the pan with the chicken and fry them for about three minutes. After you've done that, then go ahead and put in two and a half cups of warm water into the chicken. And make sure you use measuring cups. Uh, that's what I used and um, once you've put the water in keep the heat high and go ahead and um, mix the water this will ensure that all the uh, chicken is covered in the water properly
After mixing everything, keep the heat high and put the lid on the pan until the water comes to the boil and then uh, cook it on low heat for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, uh, you take the lid off and as you can see, it's bubbling away. I'm going to go ahead and give it a quick stir and after doing that, I'm going to go ahead and put in a handful of uh, fresh coriander, finely chopped, just like so. And I'm going to mix that into the curry and then I'm going ahead and put in the heat high for two to three minutes just to let the gravy slightly thicken. And if you want to keep it watery, then um, when you've mixed the uh, coriander in, just turn the heat off. But I just wanted it to be slightly thicker. So obviously I kept the heat high for, like I said, two to three minutes. And um, there you go. As you can see, it's gone thicker and it looks absolutely delicious. And it was. Um, everybody loved it. You won't regret making this. Um, if you do make it, do tag me on my Instagram. I'll link it in the description bar below. And there you have it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Assalamu alaikum.